This is the Hyundai Ioniq 6 rear wheel drive version, big battery pack with a gross capacity of 77.4 kilowatt hours, net capacity of 74. Running on the small rims, so 18 inch rims, 225 and 55 all around. Can this be one of the most effective cars on the market? We're gonna try that soon. Welcome to It's Only Electric. This is where we only test fully electric cars. And today's video is about testing the range, consumption, acceleration, and noise of the Hyundai Ioniq 6. It has a VLTP range of 514 kilometers. Is it possible to achieve that range? Great weather, dry roads, 20 degrees outside, so really good conditions for a range test. It does 0 to 100 in 7.4 seconds. Can we beat that or even achieve that? Let's try that out. So I will start with the range and consumption test on my 80 kilometers long test cycle with mixed speeds between 50 all the way up to 110 kilometers per hour. After that, I will continue with noise and acceleration test and summarize and come with a conclusion and see how well does the Ionic 6 really manage? Can it beat its own specs or can it even come close to it? Let's see. This is the first part of my range and consumption test. I have been driving for almost 21 kilometers. The total stretch is 80 kilometers with a mix speeds between 50 and 110 kilometers per hour. The average speed on the total cycle is 93 kilometers per hour. Currently, I have a consumption of 141 watt hours per kilometer. That's low. I think it will drop even more because this is the quick stretch of 110 kilometers per hour. So it will get slower now and then 110 again. But I think it will be possible to get even a lower consumption and that's <laughs> that's amazing. It will be really hard to beat. By the way, I'm always putting the AC in auto and 20 degrees Celsius and the climate control the car actually feels if there is a passenger or not and if there is no passenger present sitting in the passenger seat it will actually close or not turn on the AC on the passenger side so it's only cooling the cabin or heating the cabin on the driver's side and as always I have put the car in echo mode, so the drive mode is set to echo. You can choose between echo, normal and sport in the Ionic 6. And echo is currently what I'm driving on now. And all these things, the climate, driving mode, all the speeds, I'm always trying to keep to the exact speed limits to be able to reproduce the exact same cycle uh, all the time so we get comparable results for all the cars I have tested. Status update. I have been driving for 31.6 kilometers average consumption 128 watt hours per kilometer. That's amazingly low. I don't know if it's possible to drop it even lower uh, and by the way it's totally dry roads perfect weather conditions no wind 20 degrees Celsius. So this is a test where you will see the optimal circumstances, maximum range for Ionic 6. Uh, it doesn't get better than this. The new EU regulations, I don't know if you have heard about those, but there's some new rules uh, from 2024 and forward. That means that your car that reads the signs and uses the map to, to fetch the speed, speed limits, is actually no one going to beep every time you pass the recommended speed. So listen now. That beep says that now the road has a new speed limit. Please adjust your speed. So it just went from 60 to 80. So now I'm adjusting up. And as soon as I pass 80, 81, 82, starts blinking and we'll probably beep, yeah. So there's the beep and this function can be turned off manually but every time 
you jump into your car and start driving, it will be reactivated. I think that's by law, so you can't do anything about it. And that's nothing that uh, Hyundai themselves have decided to do. It's regulatory uh, in Europe. It's a bit annoying, but I guess you will get used to it by time. So halfway check-in, 40 kilometers put behind us. <laughs> the consumption is even lower. 124 watt hours per kilometer 124 watt hours per kilometer that's 12.4 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer i mean i have seen reviews about this car uh, and people stating that uh, we are a bit disappointed because the efficiency is not that high but hi i don't agree this is the most effective car i have ever tried the only cars that comes close to this one is the Tesla Model Y and the Tesla Model 3 because th that's two very effective cars but this one seems to be even more effective uh, let's see how this ends but I'm uh, excited finally someone has managed to do a very effective car and that's not Tesla in this case. This is the final high speed stretch, 110 kilometers per hour. Uh, the consumption has went up a little bit, so 133 watt hours per kilometer, 13.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer. That's still a very good consumption. We have been driving for 66.1 kilometers, still 20 degrees outside, still perfect weather conditions still a very effective car i don't know if the car over or under reports the distance yet so i need to do a final calculation before showing you the final results i'm back done with range and consumption test dianic 6 actually under reports the distance by half a percent it ended up with a consumption of 129 watt hours per kilometer. That's by far the best car I have ever tested. That translates into a 574 kilometers on one full charge. That's actually 93.5% of the claimed yield P range. So it's time for the first 0 to 100 test. State of charge, 92%. Go. Zero to 60 miles per hour time, 6.60 seconds. Zero to 100 keep time, 6.97 seconds. Whoa. 6.97 seconds, zero to 100 kilometers per hour. That sounds a bit too good to be true. I mean, it should do 7.4 seconds. <laughs> I need to try that again. I mean, I have a high state of charge of 92%, but it's still very good. Let's do another test. Left foot on the brake pedal. State of charge, 92%. Go. Zero to 60 miles per hour time 6.85 seconds 0 to 100 cave time 7.23 seconds hmm, a bit higher this time but still good still under the specified 0 to 100 time so let's do the last 0 to 100 and 0 to 60 test state of charge still 92 percent go Good start this time. Zero to 60 miles per hour time 6.65 seconds. Zero to 100 cave time 7.01 second. So it's clear it beats the spec by a good margin. Zero to 100 kilometers per hour in 7.01 seconds. That's good. 0 to 60 in 685, I think it said. So let's look into that uh, and I will finalize and put out the stats for you. 
Hyundai states that it's able to do 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 7.4 seconds. I actually managed to do 6.97 seconds in 0 to 100 kilometers per hour. That's almost half a second quicker than the specified time. And 0 to 60 miles per hour was done in 6.6 .6 seconds. So it's quicker than they are advertising it. That's good. Same battery pack. It's a bit heavier and longer, but also quicker than the Ionic 6 that runs the same motor and the same battery pack. I wonder why. Yeah, so better than spec. That's good. So let's jump over to the noise test. I don't want to bore you with a long video where I measure this, the noise level in the car in a silent view. I mean, that's boring, but I've measured 50, 70, 90, 110. I always put the microphone in the same place. So that's placed uh, on the headrest of the passenger seat. So always the same height and same placing in all tests I do. And I always test it on the same roads to be as consistent as possible. It turns out to be exactly on par with the Ionic 5. And you can see my previous videos about Ionic 5 if you want to, to get some more information about that car. Also on the same level as NIO ET5 and the Renault Megane E-Tech. Those tests are also linked above if you want to view them. So all in all, it's, um, it's not a dead silent car, but it's a good sound level. It's comfortable. It's more silent than my Tesla Model Y. Even if I run it on 19 inch wheels, it's still more silent in this car. It's time to summarize. The Ionic 6 is really slippery as an eel. And that's a Swedish saying. Hall som en all means that it's slippery. I mean, eels are really slippery. If you try to hold them, it will just slip away, and jump back into the water again. You normally use that saying to people that always runs away and slips away. But I want to use it for the Ionic 6 too. The low drag coefficient really shows the efficiency. Hyundai has really worked hard to build an efficient car and you can really tell that by looking at the details especially on the outside it's really designed to be as efficient as possible and i really like that it's a concept you need to understand that if you buy this car it's made to be efficient that's why it looks as it does not everyone will like that it has its bad angles, but it really has its good angles too. It's a cool car. It's quick. 0 to 100 in just under 7 seconds. Better than spec. Fairly silent and quiet. Comfortable to ride in. So a great choice for you that's looking for an electric car. As always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And by the way, keep your eyes open for more videos about Ionic 6. Thank you for watching. Speak to you soon.